Shanko shakes his head at Pakia fight. Today we gon' tell you the reason why Lomachenko scared and ducked a fight against Manny Pacquiao. Let's go back after Lomachenko win over Luke Campbell. The press ask Loma, what's next? Is it Pacquiao? Manny Pacquiao? What? Manny Pacquiao? Pacquiao no, Pacquiao. No. Pacquiao's not fighting this year. I no, Pacquiao. No. Then Loma manager Edges Climas said. Manny Pacquiao fights 147. Seven. Come on. Why are you not calling a triple G or <laughs> Canelo? Canelo is not a triple G. Canelo, a lot of money to fight Canelo. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Yeah. Radio Rahim here with Vasily Lomachenko. So many people now that Pacquiao is out of retirement has your name as his next opponent in 2017. Has anyone actually talked to you in, in any real way about possibly facing Manny Pacquiao? If, uh, if this fight, 130, 135, if it will be this fight, 135, weight category, uh, I'm ready. 135, I'm ready. Can you still make 135 if you had to for a fight against a guy like Lomachenko? Yeah, I can still make uh, 135. There was a definite passing of the torch 10 years ago when Manny Pacquiao beat Oscar De La Hoya. And it seems like boxing kind of needs that passing of the torch. This is the next guy. Is that, is that a reason for why you would want a Pacquiao fight uh, in the fall with both of you guys getting victories uh, at your next fight? себя здесь. Ну, говорить дальше о Пакьяо с боем пока это я не вижу смысла. Actually, it's a very hard question. First of all, 140 pound division, it's not my division. Uh, right now, it's the first bout I'm going to be fighting at the 135. I don't know how I'm going to feel at the 135. It's not my way. My, my real weight is 130 pounds. I feel very good, very well at 130 pounds. But because I wanted to make a history, so I moved up in a one weight class and I don't know how I'm going to be feeling at the 135. And right now, it doesn't make any sense for us to talk about a Pacquiao fight, which is probably, you know, should be like 140 pounder. So it just doesn't make any sense. We have no issue if Lomachenko ducked the fight with Pacquiao. But the issue we have is a cocky statement that doesn't belong to reality and without any action to back it up. Do you see yourself possibly uh, step in the ring against Manny Pacquiao? Do you think he beats Adrian Bronner? I explain to you. I don't want to be a man who who uh, make your name on a on an old legend. Of course, my brother. It's long. Let's stop here. Pacquiao fight at 147. Isn't that weird? So why Lomchenko calls out Floyd Mayweather? A week before his fight with Campbell. Who do you want to fight? No politics, no no nonsense. Who do you want to fight? Anybody. To to Anybody. Of fight. course, my brother. Isn't Floyd 147 fighter? So why Lomachenko ducked a fight against Manny Pacquiao at 135 last year and 138 catchweight this year, and he has no issue fighting Floyd Mayweather. Case, can you still make 135 if you had to for a fight against a guy like Lomachenko? Yeah, I can still make uh, 135. Let's start with the size difference. If we add Manny Pacquiao to the tape of the tale of Lomachenko versus Campbell, we will see that Manny Pacquiao is the smaller fighter than Loma and Campbell. So the size excuse should not be the issue. The issue lies in Manny Pacquiao, aggression, speed, and ring IQ. Manny Pacquiao is a defensive genius. He faces his opponent sideways, as if he wants to throw kick, instead of standing square like traditional boxer. These kind of stands, allow Pacquiao, to dictate the distance, and manipulate his opponent. Lomachenko on the other side, uses nimble footwork, to unsteady the opponent who stands in traditional boxing stands. And throwing flurries of punches, through various angles. That's why Lomachenko was able to walk through these traditional boxers. Pacquiao's speed and awkward movement will be an issue for Lomachenko.
since Loma thrives to fight from inside, and from a closer distance. The speed and volume that Pacquiao will put, will push Loma backward. Let's compare, the same scenario in Pacquiao and Lomachenko from their last fights. Pacquiao has more flexibility and speed, while doing maneuvers. He jumps from side to side, while delivering shots which make his opponent confused. Loma is known for pressuring forwards, but what is unique about Pacquiao, is that he can attack while he moves backward, from various awkward angles. If Loma tried to push Pacquiao to the rope to corner him, he have to expect a spring attack, in fast pace and various angles. Lomachenko matrix mind, allow him to move in calculated movements, on the other side Pacquiao always on attack mode, every second of the fight, even if he loses his position, Pacquiao tense movements, in, and out, keep his opponent guessing what's next, which put them on edge of the cliff throughout the fight. Loma normally changes level with head movement, this is effective with taller guys, but with a shorter fighter like Pacquiao, he will be getting direct short shots to head. If Lomachenko tries to get low to close distance he has to expect devastating uppercuts, which Manny generate from his calf, and continuously attack from various angles. The fight against Luke Campbell, shows vulnerability, in the way Lomachenko, adjusts. Campbell was able to land body shots throughout the fight, which made Loma slow down. The question will be, what if Pacquiao, lands one of his powerful body shots? Campbell was able to land some clean shots, while Loma stands still. In similar scenario this shot will be 3 or 4 shots, while Pacquiao pushing forward. Definite, that Lomachenko is a Hall of Famer, beside Manny Pacquiao, but what separates them, is the legacy. Pacquiao's legacy, is undeniable since he is the only 8 division world champion in history. Pacquiao fought more caliber, dangerous and bigger world champions throughout of his career. After all, Manny Pacquiao legacy 